we are live now let me play the promo Badia de Banna, who de Banna, Tedia de Banna, who de Banna, who de Banna, Signor de Banna, Melo Vita. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Fatima Jakum Bajabijub, and I am your host for the reality show. But today, um, I am here on the first episode of the uh, Know Your Mayors and their Know Your Candidates and their agendas. And with me, I have Mr. Kejo Toure, um, Kejo and Amadite of the UDP. Um, Mr. KJ is from PDOISO, is a um, PDOIS member. Um, Mr. KJ, can you please introduce yourself? Um, thank you very much, um, Jakomba. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Um, welcome to the show. Um, I, as Jakomba has introduced, um, today we are going to talk about political situation in the Gambia. I'm KJ today um of of PDOIS. thank you and uh, thank you very much mr mr k k Zhao. Yes. Um, we are so happy to have you here today and thanks for um accepting our invitation amajite um please introduce yourself um thank you very much for inviting me i don't know if my voice is okay because it echoes here where i am if that is okay are you getting me well? Yes, it's fine. Okay, so my name is Ahmad Jite. I am a supporter and a member of the United Democratic Party, but I am not here to officially represent the UDP. Okay. I'm here as a, a private individual, but of course, I support the stance and policies, and of course, the direction of the United Democratic Party a party that I'm a member of and I'm very proud of. So thank you uh, uh, for inviting me to uh, this your special show. And greetings to my senior brother, Kejau. Uh, thank you very much, Amadjite, and thanks for clearing that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, today, our topic for today is the system change um, statement that Mr. Halifa Salah made and also um, the, the local government election, that is if we have um, enough time with us. Um, Mr. K, K. Jow, I'll love to start with you. Um, yeah. yeah, go ahead, sorry. I'm not hearing, hearing you, can you please come? Um, yeah, can you hear me, can you hear me now? Okay, 
um, Mr. K K Jao, um, how do you pronounce your name? Is it K J or K Jao? K Jao, K Jao. K Jao, okay. Um, how best can you define a system change for the benefit of myself and those listeners? Um, thank you very much. Thank you, Jacob. I think that's a good question. Um, you know, when we uh, we need to start from what is system change, and um, to my mind, a system is a whole set of 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 of, of procedures of of the situation and uh, of 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 the whole um, the whole system uh, and um, um, uh, change is is what we're talking about here. So um, what a system is, 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 as I said, is a collection of, of procedures, a collection of, of ways things are, are done. Um, so when we say system change, um, I'm, I'm not sure, but, but um, 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 if I put the question to you, what, what, what system have really changed in our country? We still have the old constitution. We still have um, um, the old laws that are in place. We still have... Um, you know, um, hundreds of checkpoints everywhere we go. We still have bad laws coming in from from the coalition government. Bad laws like um, you know that we we cannot have a um, uh, we cannot put on 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 camouflage, even though that's a, that's a constitutional right for, for 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 people to put on whatever they want, as long as you're not impersonating security personnel. So um, um, if, if we say system change, I don't know what system has changed. I think, um, frankly, the, the thing that has really changed is the regime. We all know the regime really, really changed. Apart from the regime change, um, the regime change brought along some other changes like um, human rights, democracy, um, pluralism, you know. But even then, um, you can see from the last elections, um, you know, uh, with the way they had to rush in some laws. To change the system of elections, you know, uh, we still have um, we still have bad electoral laws in our, our in, in our laws. We still have so many so many you know uh, things that we need changing from the constitution, from the security forces, um, from from human rights. We need absolute you know not absolute freedom. We cannot have absolute freedom, but we need ample freedom that we can say is is comparable to uh, a situation here. Um, why, why do we have checkpoints everywhere? Every five meters in the Gambia, you have checkpoints. Um, we are saying that um, DOI is part of this coalition. And uh, we, in fact, it was DOI who initiated the coalition. So when we're talking about um, the fact that we had a regime change and it's time now for system change, change we're not, we, we were not Criticize. Halifa was not criticizing anyone. He was he was um, uh, he was um, by, um, analyzing the situation on the ground, and 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 and, 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 and that was his analysis. So, um, what system has changed, Mr. Gide? Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mr. Toure and Gide. What's your own understanding of a system change? Good evening, viewers, and uh, to my senior brother once again, it's uh, wonderful having you here on Re-Enter Gambia, and I would like to first and foremost uh, thank all our viewers and all the viewers of my great sister's program, Re-Enter Gambia. Once again, my name is Ahmad Jite. I am here uh, on this panel as a private person, but uh, a supporter and a member of the United Democratic Party and a very strong supporter of the coalition government that uh, my brother's party, PDOIS, is a part of. Um, I've had the opportunity to be invited uh, a week or so ago for a panel discussion on iAfrica TV. You would forgive me because you'll have background noise. Below me is a lab where we have, you know, people do, working on their research. So you'll have some noise. I'm sorry about that if that, you know, disturbs you here. So, I mean, I mean, you know, the, the first thing that I asked myself when I heard Halifa say, or when I heard people quote Halifa saying, Gambia has a regime change, but no system change. As an engineer, 
The first thing I ask is, what is Alifa's expertise? What I understood from his expertise is he studied sociology, and that is society. Um, I have no knowledge when it comes to sociology, and I wouldn't understand what the definition of a system is in sociology. But for an engineer or a scientist, if you would like it, a system is a combination of different functional compartments or organs or, you know, parts or, you know, if you want functions uh, that actually come together to, to, to make a whole functioning body, a vehicle, for instance, you know, a human being like myself, I have my different systems, uh, the different parts that makes me the digestive, the circulatory, the nervous, the endocrine, the skeletal system. Now, l l let's get it down to my brother's comments. Um, he said he didn't actually define a system as far as I'm concerned, but he went on to say what system has changed. So for me, a system is a, a combination of functional bodies. To be, to be very precise, in the case of democracy, and in our case, uh, judiciary is a part of this system called Gambia government. Legislature is a part, and you have other ministries, the local government and others. Now, what system change has occurred? We have the executive part of the system that changed on the 1st of December. President Yaya Jame as the chief executive officer left. If you have a company and you sack a CEO of the company, or you have a company, you change the board of directors of that company, you are changing the system. Now we have changed the CEO of our company, that is the Gambia, the institution or the country called the Gambia, we have a president. And the board of directors, if you would like to call it, the members of the cabinet or executive have changed. We have different ministers. Other arms of the government, the judiciary and legislature, we've changed people. And when we changed these people, came a long change of the way they operate. We had a group of people in our parliament that used to agree with whatever comes from the head of state. They didn't care about the, what the book says. They didn't care about what the constitution says. All they cared about was what interest the CEO, what the interest of the CEO is and what he wanted and what he didn't want. Today, we have a group of people in that same house called legislature who will only listen to the CEO if what he instructs or if what he says goes in line with the supreme law. So that is a system change. Now he talks about checkpoints and why. The Gambia as a country was a police state, a police state in the sense that the military and the NIA and police were at the mercy of the former chief executive officer and they will do anything he wants, most of the time going after opponents. We had a change of government and he is a military man actually, he was a, a lieutenant in the Gambia Armed Forces, a security expert. I, I wouldn't expect him to say why checkpoints in the country, but since he had decided to go that route as a career former military officer, I would like to share my opinion with him. Of course, you had people who were loyal to the former regime, and they went away with guns. They went away with weapons and ammunition. And these are threat to security of every citizen, including the government. And in fact, before these several checkpoints, we've heard about armed robberies. 
We've heard about people, you know, doing burglary, entering into people's house and, and strangling them to death. We heard about that lady, that Jola lady in Serekunda. We've also seen cannabis smugglers standing on a broad daylight in Bakau and telling police, we are not going anywhere. This is New Gambia. And they fought the police. In fact, some of them wounded the, police, the paramilitary. They had to run away. We need checkpoints to be able to, like uh, uh, a week ago, ECOMIC, that is the West African Combined Military Force that is in the Gambia, arrested 47 people with ammunition. 47 Gambians with ammunition. Without checkpoints everywhere, we wouldn't be able to get those things. So we have to get checkpoints to be able to fix that problem. He talks about the bad laws. I mean, the bad laws, of course, I would have expected Halifa Salah to make changes because he's in the parliament where he said is the place he would be able to do a lot of work uh, at. Sidia is there. Tuaibu is there. Onrebula uh, um, Silla is there. Onrebula Halifa Salah are there. What are they waiting for? They, that is the place where bad laws are changed. And he's, the entire leadership of PDOIS is in that room. What are they waiting for? Nine, ten months. Why can't they pass the bill? So let him ask Halifa and Sibia and Silla as to why they are not changing the bad laws because nobody is stopping them. I would stop here for now. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Amadite. Uh, Mr. Ture, um, do you agree with Jite or do you have something to say? You are on mute. You are on mute. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, um, thank you very much. I've got a lot to say. Um, first of all, I want to make a disclaimer, as he did, that um, I, I'm, not, I'm not speaking on behalf of DOI, um, I'm, I'm, but as a member of the DOI um, community and as part of um, the Gambia community, I have a, I have a right to, to my opinion. Um, I think, first of all, um, Jita said that um, I didn't define uh, system. I did define system. Um, he's saying he's an engineer. I would say he's a trainee engineer. I'm the engineer here. You know, he's, <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why um, um, he's chosen the same way that I've my, my, defined it. It's a set of procedures, set of rules that are there. Um, apart from that, um, he talked about um, 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 the, 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 the human system, for instance. Um, so if you are, if, if, if you, if you have the, um, for instance, the uh, digestive system, you eat a meal and you go to the toilet, is that system change or regime change? You know, I would say it's regime change because all that he said about, um, about, um, uh, how do they call them again? Um, about, uh, the government going, about, um, the executive doing, going, that those are what we call regime. You know, you cannot call that a system. A system is set of procedures, as he himself said. You know, uh, so it's not it's not a CEO going that will change the system. The CEO is the regime. So if the regime, if the CEO is gone, um, and, and 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 we still have everything else is in place. We still have the old constitution. We still have the um the 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 the, 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 the enablers there. You know, uh, most of most of those people. Who are working there apart from the coalition have been in the old system. So what system change is he talking about? Um, he's talked about um, uh, 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 checkpoints and that I'm the security expert here. But at the same and in the same vein, he came across to say that checkpoints are necessary because they stop crimes. They uh, you know they 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 um, they, uh, they arrested 49 people. But let me tell him one thing: that those people were not arrested at checkpoints. None of them was arrested at the checkpoint. They were all arrested at patrols. You don't know anything about security. Let me tell you what checkpoints do in security. You know, when you have checkpoints, unless if it is a big military installation you are coming in or, 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 or any government installation and you are coming in and you have the checkpoints at the door, those are, those are permanent checkpoints. That's what we, that's what we checkpoints are for. But you go onto a motor, a highway in front of um, 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 Hindum Airport, almost all over the places, the same location every day, you know, and you are saying you're going to, you mounting a checkpoint. Well, what kind of checkpoint is that? Are you looking for money or, or, or checkpoints? Because if you have um, 
if you have a checkpoint at a certain place every day, it's as useless as no checkpoint. It's just waste of resources. Because what happens is the criminals will know that ah, the checkpoint is here every day. So what are we going to do? We're not going to go back where, by where the checkpoint is. We're going to go inside. You know, so that is a false sense of security. None of those people arrested were arrested at checkpoint. Ecomog, Ecomic will never mount a checkpoint because they know security and they're not doing it for money. You know, checkpoints to go. They belong to Yaya Jammes era. They don't belong to a change system. When we're talking about a change system, system you know, we, we mean a complete whole overhaul of the system where, where we have um, uh, people being harassed, it should stop. Where people are being detained more than 72 hours, they should all stop. These are all happening still. We are part, I, I still support the coalition. I am, I am, Godoy is part of the coalition. But our policy is we are going to tell the, um, the coalition when they wrong, do wrong. And we're going to tell them, uh, we're going to um, tap them on their back when they do right. We're not in this business to, to just, you know, whatever they do is right. We have to defend them. No, they don't want that. They don't need that. Because if we tend to go that route, what happens is, you know, they, we are going to have another Yaya Jame, another Jawara. No difference at all. You know, and next minute they're going to blame it on the psycho fans, on those people who, 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 who if Paro comes around today and said, okay, I'm not going to honor the, the constitution. You know the, the agreement. I'm going to go for another five year, uh, five years, or I'm going to. In fact, if after the five years, I'm going to stand. These people are going to support him, except if it's going to affect um, lawyer Dabo. You know. So another point that he raised is um, bad laws. When I said bad laws, I'm not talking about bad laws coming from the um, the um, the parliament. You know, um, laws don't always come from parliament you have administrative laws that people sit down based on uh on 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 acts you know that have been previously passed and they make uh bylaws or administrative laws you know those are the laws i'm talking about the laws that are coming from the parliament are great because we have doi there we have um, um gdc there we have aprc there we have um we have all other parties there you know, so those ones are good laws and, and they are not coming. We have one or two laws that have been passed. When I'm talking about bad laws, I'm talking about laws that come from administrative uh, bodies like the, the chief of defense staff issuing an order or a press release saying that we shouldn't, we shouldn't wear camouflage. Those, that is a law. He thinks that's a law. And if you wear camouflage, the soldiers will take the camouflage off you by force and probably take you to court. I don't know under what law they're going to they're going to they're going to charge you because if it is that administrative law that is a bad law, we cannot have. Uh, uh, only in the Gambia you hear people saying don't wear camouflage. Only in the Gambia you see um, um, checkpoints everywhere. You know, even in a war zone, a place like a war zone, we will have less checkpoints than in the Gambia. You know, so what was happening? What has changed? Nothing. The only change we have seen is the regime change. You know. The ministers are still going on per diems like every day. They're still going on, um, how do you call it again? They're going on first class per diems now. You know, uh, we still have um, opposition leaders being called into the police to ask to, um, to, 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 to uh, questioning them because they, they, they stood on a, on a political platform to criticize the government. We cannot have those kind of things in a democracy. That is, we have we have more of Yaya Jammeh now, you know, than 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 absence of Yaya Jammeh. How many of how many things that Yaya Jammeh is doing that we have now? Many of it. We have his constitution. We have his his laws. We have his um his 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 uh, uh how do you call it his former uh, employees or you know from from the from the uh, secretary general to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, to the chief of defense staff they were all under working on the Yaya Jame, under the same system so if they are going to do the things that uh, that they used to do on the Yaya Jame, then then what what has changed apart from apart from the uh, the, uh, the the system that he's talking about so to recap we wish toy i wish that we have a system change you know, I wish we had no checkpoints on the road or very few checkpoints, one or two. I wish we don't have bad laws like don't put on camouflage. 
I wish we don't have enablers, people who had um, had had tortured other people. They are still serving in the armed forces as generals. We know, I know, I know. Um, there is a lieutenant colonel. There is uh, there are colonels, there are majors, and 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 those people were were they were captains, they were they were majors. When this, these generals were, 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 were other ranks, were lance couples and, and, other, and, and, and sergeants and sergeant majors. Now they came and then they, they, they overtook them and, and they are generals now. But what happened was people don't know that those generals, they had tortured people. They had even tortured those, their comrades that they were with. You know, so what kind of system change is that? When we're talking about system change, we're talking about when the constitution has changed, when we don't have um, 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 checkpoints, we don't have bad laws coming in, and we have all the enablers out of the system, can we have a system change? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Toure. Uh, Mr. Toure, after this statement um, released, um, made by Mr. Mr. Salah, uh, we've seen um, a press release from the president's office. Um, but before we come to that, sorry, Jite, do you have uh, anything to say to, to Mr. Toure? Uh, thank you once again. I am, I am baffled uh, as I listen to um, Honorable Kejo Toure speak as if though he has no idea about what democracy is and hasn't even an idea about what a system change is. I mean, he has said a lot of things and I'm sure I'm going to be brief, honestly. But, you know, as far as I am concerned, people in the Gambian military today, people in the police today, and people in the intelligence, and of course, security advisors know more about security than Kejam. Some people in there today trained him. And they know why they're putting in place checkpoints. He has a very narrow understanding of a checkpoint. Maybe he was an infantry soldier, probably. And he talked about just one aspect of why a checkpoint is mounted. Again, I'm not a security expert, but you don't have to be a security expert to understand the need for checkpoints in today's Gambia, where you have a lot of threats from a lot of areas. What is very disturbing is for Kejau to say, today in the Gambia we have more Yaya Jamme than when Yaya Jamme was there. That is very disturbing. It will also interest the viewers here to, to, to know that Kejau that is yeah. accusing people of being enablers, like Just, he, he talked about people in the army that tortured people in the army and in civil service that are, that, that are enablers. I mean, I don't know what your definition of enabler is, but I know for certain that there are people, thousands of thousands of people that worked on the Yaya Jame for 22 years and are not enablers. Because they work for their government, they played what the rule asked them to do. They played their roles as government officials. Some were sacked on Julie. And as far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't call those people enablers. Keja was head of military police under Yaya Jame, not under Jawara. The fact that you accepted being a head of military police, that is, the military disciplinary section. You were head of that department. You re replaced Yaya Jame. And you went and arrested people, some unlawfully, before you had a problem with Jame. No, Keja no, would no, be called no, an no. enabler. Oh, GTA. Uh, you have to let me speak. Please. No, no, no. You cannot accuse me. You cannot accuse me and, and I let that go. Who did I, I, mean, arrest? I, mean, Who did I arrest? Um, sorry. Um, sorry, um, guys, if you're hearing me, um, please, please, um, I'll have to put you both on mute. You have to listen to each other, please. Let um, do let me, it. Let me speak. I, I, I am speaking, and, and it's going to be done. And I, I'm, I'm closing quietly. Uh, let Keja. Keja was in the military. And you had a position under Yaya Jame. So I'm talking about enablers. If there is any enabler, Keja is among. And I don't think Keja will belong to New Gambia because he had always, he served under military regime. 
and he played a role before he left the country. So what I'm trying to say is, you cannot flush out all these people tomorrow. You took over, Barrow took over yesterday, and he said, the entire civil service, go home. Who does that? How would you do that? That is impossible. And it will surprise you to know that a lot of people that were troublemakers, like people in Kanilai, who defended them, at least PDOIS, some members of PDOIS defended the Kanilai people. They admonished the borough government for the action it took when people misbehaved in, in Kanilai. I mean, these were people that were supporting Yaya Jame. They are even more Yaya Jame because they were, in all definition, Yaya Jame supporters. But we had PDOIS people that supported them. How would you call that? Now, today, let's go back to system change. Honorable Ali Fasala, you know, undertook an amazing, you know, a, 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 I mean, a European tour. This tour would be the most successful tour I have ever, you know, known for Honorable Ali Fasala. More people came out to engage him on camera. It, it didn't happen on the jam because there were people that were scared. They never wanted to be associated with these opposition leaders. But Halifa had a lot of people that went out. These people wouldn't have gone out to meet him. That's a system change. There was a system that people were scared of. Today we have a system that people are no longer scared of. And people are able to, you know, go out and freely discuss matters. Now when you talk about, you know, again, you know, a, a, a system change is a process. When you go to the United Kingdom, when you go to the U.S., uh, that would be the best example for me as a neighbor. There was a system. And we had Barack Obama for eight years. He left. We had a lot of changes when Donald Trump came. Now we have a new system in the United States. And you would hear that everywhere. But it, it, it's like a, a, a process. It is gradual. It is a continuous thing. And you will never have a complete system change because human beings by nature keeps improving. They will change and change and change and change until the day they die. So that's the same thing with Gambia. We would have ministers change. We will have some, you know, people that we are working with Jame change. In fact, there will come a time when Jame's name will not be mentioned again. We have a commission of inquiry that is going on. It's a system change how our money was spent. Yesterday, money would be spent, you don't even know. A president calling Central Bank and just telling the bank governor to give him millions of euros. Today, that is not happening because we have a system that is changing, but some of that part has changed. So when you say nothing changed apart from regime, what is regime? Regime is a component of a system. So if a vehicle a vehicle, a Pajero that your husband bought for you. I know your husband bought a Pajero for you, Fatu uh, 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 So you better uh, uh, give me a lift. So that, that, that Pajero, when you have a stairwell broken, there's a problem with the system. When you have one of the wheels that has a flat tire, there's a problem with the system. One component of the system, when it, you know, so, 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 this government and country is the same. But before we complete, in fact, we will never complete these changes. We will continue to do so. But for Halifa Salah to say, or for anybody to say, that we only have regime change in the Gambia and not system change to me, is not very accurate. And we have to, again, help and nurture a government that we all worked so hard to put in place. And I've heard Kejau say PDOIS initiated this coalition. Kejau is definitely, my brother has, you know, a lot of misinformation. I don't know who is informing him about this. But I know for certain that this coalition 
has never been initiated by PDOIS. It has never been initiated by PDOIS. Of course, you played a vital role like any other party. But that is not accurate. For a security to invite, again, I'm on things that he has said, for a security to invite a, an opposition leader for questioning is not wrong in a democracy. The police has right to invite anybody for questioning at any time if it deems it necessary. That is the job of the police. They can call Ahmad Gida on the street today and say, come. They have reasons to do it. And the police made it clear that they did that to make sure that Faba Karitombong Jata did not get into trouble with other uh, 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 um, opposition or coalition parties. And in fact, some made mention of UDP, which I disagree because we have no business with Fabakari. But to say, you know, that is wrong. Kejau, it's not wrong for security to invite any citizen for questioning. What is bad is if you maltreat individual or arrest the individual and keep him after 72 hours. And that 72 hours is also talking about has exceptions. There are people that are arrested. There are security mem security personnel. Kejau again was a military man. He was a military officer. In the army, in security, it is allowed to arrest a security officer beyond 72 hours. When there is need, you can indefinitely, uh, uh, I mean, um, keep somebody in, in, in communicado. Uh, Kejau knew about that. He knew about those things. I mean, it's unfortunate that he's not telling people what he is supposed to. But again, uh, it's a discussion, and this is my belief. This is not the position of UDP, once again. Uh, Fatu, I, I, I would like to thank you once again. Uh, thank you very much, Gite. Uh, Mr. Ture, um, like I said earlier, uh, Mr. Salah, you know, made a statement, you know, that create you know a big controversy um, on the so both on the social media and in the Gambia that the government responded to. What was your reaction when you when you saw the press release? You're on mute. You are on mute. Uh, yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. Let me just quickly, um, one minute, just answer um, Ahmed Jite's uh, comment about um, 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 initially he started it um, in, in the wrong footing that um, I was in the armed, and the armed forces and I used to arrest people illegally. I think that's deformation of character. Um, you know, um, if, 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 if you have information that I arrested anybody illegally, then you can, then you can say it. Otherwise, it's deformation of character and you, you may be liable for uh, <laughs> for slander but um you know um and and he accusing me you know how did how did you came to the uh to, the, to canada you know i served in my armed for in the gambia armed forces you know well before jamme well before jamme came well before jamme came into power i was in turkey when this armory was was uh was uh was was disbanded i came they took me to the police after the coup they took me to the military police so what's the problem with that you know i the fact that I was not appointed, I was never appointed by Yaya Yame on anything, unlike him. DJ was taking, was, was, names was mentioned at the commission. Some people said he had mentioned there before that he was giving a scholarship by Yaya Yame, but God knows most people didn't hear about that until the commission said it. And why? So that he can come and be a, 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 a how do you call it again, a spy for Yaya Yame. So you, Sitting on your high horse, you accusing me who has served brilliantly my country, and you are a spy of the dictator. My God, how dare you? You know, how dare you, my friend? We have um, we have we have we have we have, uh, we, have we have a saying. Everybody knows that next next election, um, um when when Halifa wins, we will have Jita in in Doi because that's how what he does. He was in APRC. Now he is in. Uh, now you know uh, uh, he was sent to the court so that he can spy on us. And then and then he he he, he um, uh, did the right thing by by dumping those people and coming on board. I commend you for that. And because of that, you know we are we people are, are taking you as a, as 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 a decent guy. 
but don't accuse um, um how do you call it again um like people of exemplary character of the same thing that you did okay so coming back to um the uh, the press release i think when i i was sitting down here looked watching uh, grts and then i saw it i thought no i can i'm, I'm not I'm, I'm, am i dreaming or what you know i thought initially i was dreaming because it came and then they started saying suleiman bad the drug wrote this so i thought it was a good thing they were praising doi and then eventually all of a sudden you know it it it, it, it came back to say halifa said um you know that uh, system change regime change and then they started so many so many quotations you know it's like a very long letter like people people who have serious problems only people who have very serious problems write those kind of long letters trust me i've seen this in, in, in facebook before on gambia on gambia on, on gambia tv but only people who have problems who have mental problems write those such long letters can you believe they were reading the letter for 20 minutes that day the news went up to about 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 a uh, quarter to and the biggest thing was that big letter they were reading at some point i had to go out and come back and they were still reading letter you know and it was so crude the letter was so crude it was so you know i thought it was written by um um um, um for the jaula you know because who 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 on who, uh, who is going to who is going to uh, uh, ask, for instance, if I, told, if I don't, I doubt that it was written by Ami, 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 Sisoho. You know, Ami Sisoho will never write such a letter. That's why people are saying that it was written by UDP people, and most likely by Alkali Conte. I would say it here, GJ. It's most like, most likely written by Alkali Conte. You know, you can see the the English there is very, very backward. That, that language they are speaking is so crude no diplomacy you know and they were trying to they were trying to um to to, to defend the government's points in in changing the changes that have been done do all those changes that they've been talking about where where regime changes there was no system change the only system change and they neglected to mention was the vice presidential's appointment because he's over 65 years old. You know, that was the only change they did and they had to rush that because of their own selfish interest. You know, so, so what change are you talking about? Why did they have to rush that twice and they messed it up? And they didn't even, they, didn't, they couldn't even mention that. Apart from that, what system change do we have? The vice president's thing was changed. All those people changed and, and, and Jesus said, um, you cannot you cannot sack a, civil, a whole civil I didn't say sack a whole civil servant. We have people in the Gambia Armed Forces who are very exemplary, who we have nothing against. Even the deputy commander, Drame. Drame, nobody has any, nothing against Drame. He has gone to mile two, and he, he, is, he, he is even more senior than the present CDS. The reason why this present CDS was promoted over him was, was because of Yaya Jame. And if after that promotion, the present CDS went on a country tour, to, to, not, to the, not to the military barracks or to the police stations or anywhere, or to government installation, but he went to tour the, um, the, uh, the APRC bureaus. And we were at Gambia Elden, Gambia Post. There was no Facebook then. We had talking, we had taking this, this, this conversation, you know? And, and so many, how many people were, we were on, on this Facebook, um, the, you know, the Gambia struggle started in the Gambia Post and Gambia L. So many people there, I, I, I know what what really really happened and the next day on the 11 30th november when these people went to the gambia to to to, to take over the guy to the government he wrote a letter to say that you know um there should be this and this and that what what what, what? And, and next minute you put that guy and put it under cds and he's bringing all his people there this this this, 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 this the secretary general is the same thing we're not talking about attacking the sick we're talking about key positions Key positions should not be given to enablers. We have seen the UDP sending enablers to New York, you know, as 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 for secretaries, people who few months ago were coming on radios insulting Mandinkas. Are we not important? You know, just because the lady is from Bansang with the UDP, this thing, what has changed? It's the same Yaya tactic. You know? 
for the for the for the sake of politics nothing else is more important than politics the lady's father is still at the ambassador in in in, in china you know and even the even the present um the the advisor to uh to the to the um to the uh to the, the security advisor he was an ambassador to um to 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 to, to all these places and and when they appointed him some of us came out and say yeah he's a good man not very smart you know but very he's a good man you know and he can you know we have never had anything and then some people came around some over old soldiers came and said no 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 this guy when he was commissioner in base he had insulted mandinkas too you know so we are going to we are going to stand and remind anybody who comes around and 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 we have, let, 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 let me tell you one thing just just go on facebook now and criticize one of those people the cds or the the, the intelligence or any of the, even the secretary general or any of them they will come after you like never before what is the, the difference between now and the gambia you cannot sit down and talk about anything in the gambia now people will insult you they will call you names you know they will call you your your your, your parents your, what kind of system change is that and it's all UDP guys, yellow people. Not even the green boys do that anymore. If you want system change, Jite, you have to change. The, 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 the UDP will have to change. The UDP leadership came on the air once, and then they said that, you know, if you insult, you are not speaking on behalf of UDP. They need to do that more often. In fact, they need to kick people out, people who are insulting. I had written um, on my wall a few months ago that, you know, um, 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 many, many years ago at the Gambia Post, I was ap approached by UDP to join them. But what I told them is that the order of you don't have policies, you don't have anything, but that all that can change, all that we can come in and work on it, you know. But the thing is, the most fundamental thing is your people are insulting people. When you when you criticize your uh, UDP leader, they will insult your mother. People like Yankuba, Yang, then it was Yankuba, uh, Yanks Dabo and the others. On Gambia L and Gambia Post, they will insult you and dafe. You know? So we don't have system change, GJ. What you are mentioning is regime change. When you say Obama, Obama left, uh, um, this guy came, um, uh, 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 Trump came, that is regime change classic. Classic regime change. In America, they don't have system change. And he said, people are talking about system change. Nobody's talking about system change there. They're talking about region change because there's no need to change the system there. You know, people change systems that are dictatorial. That's what we meant by regime change and system change. Maybe you need to get that act together and then and then talk about it. Uh, uh, um, um, so okay, let me let me stop here and then give him a chance. It's uh, it's about uh, 55 minutes. Thank you. Mr. 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 Toure, um, you've also made a post um, saying that um, with one single press release, the UDP has finally broken the coalition up. I guess no need for each other now that Jame is out. Can you please enlighten us um, on that post? What do you mean? Um, I think it's it's common that um, you know you lead when when we had we had um, I, I've been in this struggle since um, 2000 you know um gambia l gambia post so we have we we started with with nad um you know uh, a nad uh, a coalition came the udp broke it and when the chairman of 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 that uh, of that uh, how do you call it again of stdgb uh, keba phone came and said listen udp they, they accuse him of being a mandinka uh, a mandinka hater that was in 2006 or since then even before then we've been telling um, udp to come and join us all they have been saying is we are it's, 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 it's not joining we're not going to join anybody we're not going to make a coalition we are you are coming to join us that's all they want they want us to come and join no no question ask nothing that's always been their point and some people believe that even now if lawyer Dabo didn't go to 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 to, to jail there will probably will never have been a coalition because some people say when he came out the first thing he said is you shouldn't have agreed because he had given them uh, uh, instructions to 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 give to to accept somebody as as their as their leader, and the UDP it was the UDP themselves who were out and they refused. So my point was, now we have achieved what we all wanted. You know, yeah, Jame is our regime change has come. Even though system change hasn't come yet, they don't need us anymore. 
you know they are they are they are look, look at this press they 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 they, they, they instigated the, the the president to release this press press release afterwards you can see on facebook you know almost every day they are all on it you know nobody can you cannot you can, if, if if you comment on on simple thing they will all come and insult you and, and do this you know and they are all asking for the same thing even kamba Ture, i was so surprised that he's saying now that you, now that uh Doi has left the the coalition i said when did they leave the coalition are you trying to sack us from the coalition get us from the coalition because you don't need us anymore so that's my point they don't need us anymore we have the idea gone out you know they are going, coming back on their words First of all, it was three years. Now they want the driver came and said, no, 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 no. We are going to go five years. If anybody said three years, I'm going to take you to court. You know, so it's like um, they don't need us anymore. Sorry, so, sorry. Uh, when did Mr. Dabo say um, say that? It was when he came out first to to start um, to establish the 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 the, 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 the parliamentary elections. You know, when he came out for the for, for parliamentary election, the first thing he said is, now we are going to break the coalition up. We are going to have tactical alliance. It was the, that was the time Baro Rockily Bali was not in the country. Baro was not in the country. He was in Senegal. He was uh, was asked at the airport, um, is, "Is is the coalition broken now?" He said, "Anybody who who competed outside the coalition, you are opposition." That was why. That was the reason why they came back. You know, but he, any everybody had that. He said that uh, anybody who said three years, he, he, he will go to court. I don't know how you're going to go to court for what? What, what are you going to go to court, to court for? As a, <laughs> as a lawyer, you know, what, what are you going to go to court for? It's it's not that we're going to force uh, Barrow to, to go on his word. He has given a gentleman's agreement, you know, and as a gentleman, we want we 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 hope he's going to he's going to uh, honor that agreement so that next time, in five, six, ten years again, when he comes and he wants to be a president, people will say, yeah, this man he keeps his words, but. He has to be careful because I, I have a I have a feeling that lawyer Dabo does not want him to keep his words. He want him to be seen. He want people to see Barrow as not somebody who keeps his words, so that he will never come back again. Because if Barrow comes again, uh, and, and then we have so many parties forming in the combos, you know, and with their with their with their small number of votes in the provinces and in the Badibus and the Kians and the Jaras, you know. There's no way they're going to win national election, presidential elections, and there will be no way if if we have demarcation um, um, redrawings of 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 electoral um, boundaries, then there is no way UDP is going to win or GDC. They are all going to go away. Thank you, uh, Mr. Gite. Um, um, Kejo mentioned that um, the system change can never be achieved with. Um, when our, our, our attitudes are not, um, do you believe that? He also made mention that um, some of these insults um, or, or the rants that we see on the social media are from the UDP um, fans. You, um, has, as a UDP member, what do you have to say on that? You're on mute. You're on mute. You are on mute, Gite. He's, he's scared of coming back again. <laughs> you, you put me on mute, Fatu. I was expecting you to remove me from mute. You put me on mute. Are you getting me? Yes, I'm getting you. I said, sorry, um, I cannot do it from my end, so you have to do it... Um, when, okay, when I, I, I that is I didn't know about that because I knew I didn't put myself on mute, so you did. So I was thinking uh, so, you would have been able to remove me. Well, uh, Kejo said a lot of things, and I just want to remind each and everyone that is viewing this um, that uh, this is about the coalition government's response to what Halifa Salah allegedly said regarding a system versus regime change. Now, as far as I am concerned, that press release, you know, whether Kejo uh, said, you know, we have to change our attitudes and all of that, that's, that's, that's one thing. And whether it is UDP that is um, 
I, I mean, like the question you asked me, uh, uh, first and foremost, I would like to be as much as I can not uh, 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 make this a UDP discussion because we're talking about a coalition which is seven political parties plus one independent. And if Kejau, I mean, as usual, comes out to rant about UDP and say things that, you know, he has no clue, no basis of, that is, you know, left to Kejau and his consents to come and say, you know, the, the press release was post on uh, the president by UDP and Al Kali wrote it and all of that. You know, you know, a matured political person uh, would not uh, make such a wild and very, very irresponsible uh, claims. We know PDOIS for one thing. Uh, Halifa Sidia are very careful people when it comes to talking. They are very careful. Uh, I'm surprised that the doctrine has not sunk into or sunk into Kejau and is insulting Usenu, insulting, you know, Al Kali and insulting UDP. Let me tell you one thing. In every society, you have people and um, a, a, a section that will always not uh, be in line with majority. We have people in PDOIS that are even insulting me as you watch the the program right now running. Um, uh, K. Jau, uh accused me of being a spy and Allah knows subhanahu wa ta'ala that I've never spied on anyone. I've never, you know, ever spied on any human being and I will never do it because I don't know how to. Uh, I was never trained and I would never do it. But he did that. That's, that's Kejau. So a PDOIS member did that. So in, in UDP, in any place, we have people. APRC, UDP, you know, DOI, uh, GDC. You have people that whose understanding are very, you know, like, like very limited. And so settlements are not done in a professional and intellectual way. UDP has more people than any other party. And the more people you have, the more such people you equally have. Because, I mean, I mean that, that's the reality. Nia ninsi kore soko. Ila ninsi ol siyata nyameng. Ninsi ol mine alon kwe buka moku momo yika siya wole nyame. That is acceptable in society. Ni tata talbe kunda ato dimbaya kunda dami alon ko mol siyata ye. A family that has a lot of children. That's why you have a lot of troubles. That's, that's normal. That's human nature. So, uh, I mean, but you see insults, a lot of insults from the other side again to UDP. That's, that's, it shouldn't happen, but that's inevitable in our political discourse in the Gambia today. Let's go back to uh, the, you know, press release. I don't want to speak about UDP. I'm so Al Kali Conte is an individual in, on his own. You know, Keja can say all that he wants about them. I, I am not here to represent UDP. But I know for certain that UDP played a very crucial role in the fight against President Yaya Jame. They never were scared of him. They never had any agreement with him. Unlike we knew about political leaders, leaders of some political parties who were actually in support of the military takeover, even though they knew it was unconstitutional. They supported the referendum in 1996. We knew that about political leaders and we knew about secret meetings between political leaders and President Yaya Jame when he was a military junta. We knew people did that. But, you know, that's not, not UDP. And we've had people that died in UDP for the sake of the Gambia. We've had people that took on Yaya Jame and his regime in defense of the Gambian people, not UDP. And one thing, though, I am going to say in person, Hussein Dabo, like me, is a citizen. He has a right to defend his agreement with the president. In law, every single Gambian citizen 
has signed an agreement with the president the moment you voted for that president. And the constitution says the president has to go for five years. So Useno has a right to say, I don't agree with the three years, just like all others. He took rightfully to say it was a gentleman agreement. In a court of law, gentleman agreement has no weight when you compare it to the supreme law. So we are talking about the law. That is what the courts go about, not the gentleman agreement that you've had in the streets or inside the rooms. And please, this press release didn't come from the UDP. It came from the government of the Gambia, which is a coalition government. And inside that press release, once again, what I've not heard Kejau say is there was a lie in it. Because all that they say were true. The press release can be a million hours if that is what it needed to express or to inform Gambians. It can take 10 hours if that is what is needed to inform Gambians about what is happening. It can take two minutes if that is what is you know, needed. So I see nothing wrong with taking one hour, two hour, three hours to, to, to read a statement. If he consider that crude, that is undemocratic, there is no law, there is no policy, there is no act that denied people from reading such a long one. And we are going by the rules of democracy. And, you know, for him to again come up, I will repeat this, for him to again come up and start saying that, um, <laughs> I have to laugh that out first. <laughs> you know, when you talk about a system overhaul, you are talking about like, 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 like getting rid of an entire system. So when you say we need a complete overhaul of a system, I mean, Keja, you are talking about us removing, I mean, I mean, let's say the entire military. And let me also point out that Khalifa Salah, when he came, his leader, and I have so much respect for him, when he came home, he was received by a lot of people, most of them APRC. Only system change would make it possible because PDOIS that we knew, as it was said in the last program by Honorable Silla, never go to canvas for votes they don't buy votes so they are not into fanfare but we have seen people tama you know and all those musics for halifa which is fantastic and only change can bring that to our country but i would like to implore and i would like to appeal to my brother keja that udp is a party and it's a, a section of the coalition government. No decision is made by this coalition that comes entirely from UDP. And when you talk about appointments at foreign affairs, it is the department, the department of foreign affairs, the ministry of foreign affairs on the Gambia government that those or that affects those appointments. It is not UDP. UDP does not own foreign affairs. It is the minister that is there. There are terms of reference for his work, which were drafted and written by the Gambia government and not UDP. How I wish it were a UDP institution. I'm sure there are a lot of people that we didn't agree with the appointment. But I would like to correct you, and I would like you to make a little bit of research. The first secretary in Washington, D.C. was actually not, or should I say New York, was actually not, uh, I, I mean, the father is not the ambassador to China. You are a little bit behind time. Uh, he was recalled, Honorable Dembo was recalled, and he is no longer 
with foreign service. There is one CSE, uh, you know, uh, foreign affairs ambassador CSE that is in China. So this uh, uh, um, uh, Aisha Dubaji's father came home long, long, long time ago before that issue even came up. But Fatu, you have to wait for me because you gave this guy almost 30 minutes to speak. And um, the, the, um, the Cara, other point that I, I, I have here. I, I, I just want to um, tell our viewers that this is healthy. This is democracy and this is what we fought for. What Jita and, and, and Mr. Ture are doing is very, very healthy and I'm very proud of them because um, it is a friendly debate and I want you all to respect their view. This is their view and you all have the right, you know, to say whatever you want to say, but not to insult. I think it is very important for us to know that. Um, this is Mr. Ture and Amajita's view and this is what we fought for and it's very healthy. Um, you can carry on, Jite. Thank you. And, and, and you know, I mean, I, I, I'm happy. I, I am used to insults. I mean, I got more insults when Jame was in power. I got worse ones. I have people that went to my mother and, uh, you know, threatened my mom. I mean, a lot of things happen. So I don't care about these ones. I mean, it, it will continue happening. But I would again want to make it clear to every Gambian that there is a system change in our country. Do we have a complete change of system? No. Would we ever have a complete change of system? I don't think so. Because change is a process, it's a gradual thing, and it keeps happening. And you will hear Englishmen always say, the only two things that are constant in this life are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and change. Change will always happen. As you move on with time, you would have changes. So system changes with time but the change is going on we used to have budgets that were you know like they they they, they pierce through the through the, uh, uh, the the ceiling of the country's uh, 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 economy we had so many troubles with the amount of money that is allocated to president's office alone this was terrible i mean uh, uh, you know uh, there are policies that are put in place now to make sure so these things do not happen like, I mean, you had the finance, finance minister at the National Assembly. He was questioned, he, you know, critical questions were put uh, uh, to him. Ali Fasala was very happy, Sidia was very happy. I mean, they commended the finance minister for what he did. I mean, wonderful policies in place. And we also have, you know, we are putting a system in place, and I repeat, a system in place to get forensic experts, financial experts, that would go after the looted resources uh, that uh, Yaya Jame took from the Gambia. These are all parts of system change. And we have to understand, uh, of course, as he rightly mentioned, we had this cap of 65 years presidency uh, uh, age that was removed in the National Assembly, which is part of system uh, change. And, you know, you know it's a process. The Minister of uh, uh, Justice, Honorable uh, uh, um, uh, ba Abubakar Ba Tambidu, made a press conference. He had a discussion with Gambians, and he was also on Face the Nation uh, program, uh, 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 moderated by Tenen Gide, where they said they are drafting a new constitution, a constitution that is going to outlaw, that is going to get rid of a lot of these draconian laws that uh, Kejao's former colleague put in place, his former colleagues actually, uh, Yaya Jame and others. I mean, you know, they will get rid of them. But you don't just sit down today. I, I don't know about any lawyer. I don't know about any constitutional lawyer that will sit down a day and draft an entire constitution. It takes a process. It's a very, 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 very critical, very, you know, complex issue. And it takes time. It's just nine months, and they say, the ministers say, in 18 months, we will draft a new constitution, and we will put it before the National Assembly, and probably they will go for referendum to outlaw Yaya Jame's constitution and bring in a new constitution that will actually 
address most of the things that Keja was saying. I personally do not agree with, uh, 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 you know, Gambians, you know, not putting on military fatigue. I, I didn't agree with that. I, I want to put on a military fatigue. I, I love it. I didn't agree with that. But it's a law. As long as it's a law, I mean, it's applicable. Unfortunately, a bad law, but it's a law. So, um, you know, a system change is happening. It's gradual and it's going to be felt as we move on. And we'll have two term uh, uh, presidency. Kenya, you know, finally, before I get back, because I don't want to uh, keep us a lot, but Kenya mentioned that, um, you know, uh, today uh, we have a lot of political parties being formed and uh, they are in combo. Uh, if that happens, uh, UDP had little, little votes from Badibus and other places. And what's going to happen is UDP and GDC will face out. I cannot speak for, uh, you know, GDC, uh, but as far as I know, um, UDP is a very sophisticated political party. You know, you should have known that from the day that Yaya Jame took all the executives, I mean the force executives of the UDP, the Secretary General, the, 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 you know, it would have been a dead party. And before that, a lot of our party supporters were beaten. Many of them uh, were jailed. Many of them were sent out of the country. If you pick 10 people from PDOIS, there will be no PDOIS. I can tell you, from the leadership, 10 people, pick 10 people, or 5, 10 is too much. Pick 5 people, there will be no PDOIS in existence. But we had our people, about 30 of them, very instrumental and very powerful people in the party. The party even got stronger than, 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 than it was when those leaders were there. So if there is a marabou that is telling anybody, including Kejau, that with the formation of new parties, we are going to face out uh, that marabou, uh, you have to visit the marabou. And I will also appeal to Kejau to not uh, call people mentally, uh, 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 people with mental problems because of the press release. As far as I am concerned, though that press release contained very, very, very tangible points, very realistic points, uh, whatever way you call it, there is only truth in that statement, in that press release, nothing but truth, point after point, indicating that we have indeed system change in place. So to call anybody, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, having a mental problem because of saying that is, is, it's not too Kejau. Let me use Kejau as an adjective here. It's not too nice of him as a military, former military man. We know them to be disciplined people because you are disciplined. So if you work in the military for 10, 20 years, um, where has the discipline dissipated to? The power of your discipline has dissipated. So I would have expected me to say those kinds of things, but not him, to people actually that are working very hard, and that were even in the Gambia during the the most troubling moments of our of our fight against CIA Jame. All those people that were writing that were there. They fought with Jame. They did everything against him. Keja was scared to go to Gambia. He never went to Gambia until when CIA Jame left for Equatorial Guinea. Inclu that was including when he yourself, was there. including yourself. So pray for the Jahan. I, I agree, I agree, and that's why I'm saying, I mean, you don't have to go after those people, especially they have mental, they don't have mental problems. Keja read or listened to those statements, and there was nothing that is lies about that. So, I mean, you know, again, um, I would like people to not insult Keja. If you are watching this, you are listening, let us be civil. That is what I plan to do now. It's politics. We have to be civilized about it. Um, we get angry sometimes. Uh, it doesn't have to be animosity, you know, hate and detest uh, between and amongst ourselves. 
the bottom line is we all have interest in the well-being of the Gambia. We just differ in our, our, our ways that we want to, I mean, achieve that development for our country. So uh, let us stop insulting. Whether you are a supporter of Kejau in this or Jita's views, let us just be simple. Let us just be moderate and keep it uh, alive as brothers and sisters of our, our great country. Somebody mentioned if I were happy about what happened in Kanilai. No, I was not. I mean, for, for a genuine human being, every single person's... No, Kejau spoke more than me. I still have two minutes to go. Kejau spoke a lot. So um, for, for, for genuine Gambian and a genuine Muslim, I would not be happy about the demise of any individual. I would never say I am happy about the loss of life in Kanilai. And the government, of course, is not happy about that. And they made that very clear. It's regrettable. And I personally regretted that it happened. But the circumstances surrounding its happening was not right. That is what I was trying to uh, uh, make clear. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, um, uh, what Jita said is very true. Uh, we are the same. We are all um, Gambians, regardless of our political differences. Uh, Mr. Mr. Toure, um, your party PDO, ISN, your leader, uh, Mr. Halifa Salah, played a very significant role um, in ending dictatorship in the Gambia. but are not part of the new government, uh, or should I say the coalition government. Some people are saying that um, they are not part of the coalition government, but you stated um, earlier that you people are still in the coalition, but didn't take any position. So can you please um, tell us more on that? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I think I will just touch a little bit on what this guy said about um, uh, the press release, um, I probably mentioned, I forgot to mention that. It is not professional, it is not system change when you have a government um, relaying a political message through a state media as if it is a press release. I think that is, a, that is very wrong, you know. Um, when, when, when the president's office was, 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 was issuing this press release, they knew that it was political. It has nothing to do with any government issue. It is just politics, you know? So they shouldn't have issued it through uh, uh, a press release because now if, if, if GDC or, 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 or DOI issued a press release to, um, to a political press release to GRTS, they will not, they will not um, say it. So it's not right. And that's why we say it's regime change and not system change. Okay, coming back to the positions. Um, I think it's important that um, we differentiate uh, 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 what a position is, because a government is not only the executive. You know, a government is is the executive, the um, the, uh, the the judiciary, and the the, the the legislature. So now, if you have um, Dabo and, and and the crew in uh, in in the executive, um, by the way, I just have to uh, uh, make some corrections. Um, I didn't insult anybody. I don't insult anybody. I'm a disciplinarian. I was military police commander, if you remember. So I have discipline. I don't insult anybody. And these people, even if it's not politics, you know, most of these politicians are my family. You know? So I will not insult them. They are my uncles. You know? They are my family. Almost all of them. Apart from the Ajame. So I will not insult anybody. I don't know where you heard that from. I don't insult at all. No, never. Okay, what I said was some the person who wrote that must have mental problems. That's the only thing I said, and that is that 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 is a problem. That's a fact. Okay, and I'm not withdrawing that. Okay, so as I said, you have three arms of the government. So if Halifa thinks that he is going to be more effective in the in the um, in the, in the legislature. You know, I don't think it's anybody's problem. It's, it's, Gambians should be happy that we don't have everybody wanting to be ministers. Some people want to go to parliament. I think this is a very important fact that we have to differentiate. We have to tell our people that being in the government does not mean going and, 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 and being a minister only. No, it means you can, you can, if you are in the judiciary, some people left 
their 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 positions in the UN, the um the the the, 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 the supreme um how do you call it again the um the uh, the chief justice for instance to come and serve the government in pal in 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 in, in, in the judiciary. Halifa Salah didn't want to go to the to 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 um. To, uh, to, 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 to the cabinet for reasons that everybody knows. First of all, the, 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 when we are saying regime change, we mean the MOU. If you check the MOU, the content of the MOU, if, if at all that was implemented, then we will have regime change today. I'm glad my friend, my brother, my little brother, um, engineer in training, uh, Mr. GJ has admitted here with everybody present, that the system has not changed yet. You know, and that the system changes take time. I think that is the problem, that, is, that, is, that has been Halifa's point all the time. He is not criticizing the government for not changing the system. He is not even talking about the, the government uh, uh, putting, um, putting um, uh, checkpoints on the roads. He's not talking about um, uh, um, CDS's camouflage bad law. Or other things, or, or, or the people being called in. No, he's not like me. He is, he is supporting them. What he said was, it takes time for system to change. That's why we need to to vote in the party that can really, really change the system. What is wrong with that? Jita also himself have said that here. The the, the the attorney general said it. He said it, he's going to put the, the thing on in front in front of parliament 18 months time and then change the, the constitution. That is system change. It takes time. The reason why they are scared and they issued that press release was because what Jita said of the of the of the of the reception Halifa received here from both the diaspora as well as from the 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 the, 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 the host countries that he goes to. He's been to Norway and he's seen, uh, um, um, how do you call it again, uh, parliamentarians, important people that Barrow and Dabo who went around the world, they couldn't see. So because of that, they are angry. We understand. You know, but he is still part of the coalition and he worked harder for that coalition than all of them. Jita was saying that I was here and I didn't go to Gambia. So was Dabo and Barrow. No, but Davo was not in Davo was didn't leave the country, but he was in hiding. Baro left and he went to Senegal and, and, and with all the people. Every day, Halifa will come out. Gambians, if they don't hear Halifa for a while, it becomes a problem. You can see agitation starting. Ah, where is Halifa? We haven't seen him for a while. He comes, holds his press conference in the middle of the country. In the middle of the impasse, I'm a security uh, officer. I was a security officer. I would have advised him to leave the country as well. Yeah, but no, he sacrificed his life. That is, that is, that is, and, and he is talking about his people being jailed. When, when, when did the UDP started being jailed? It was a few months. It was apart from uh, uh, Femi Peters. It was just uh, uh, a few months before the thing. And, um, and UDP and, and Doi people have been uh, were being jailed from 1994. Yeah, from 1994 up to up to 19 uh, 2000 and 2015. Almost every two three years, every time he has does his his Alanyuku Kalantangol, he wants to go to uh, 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 um, to to uh, uh, to. He said he's going to read uh, the country of riches, you know. Who, who got arrested there? Was it lawyer Davo or anybody? No. Even when when Sunday, uh, solo Sunday came out, the first press com conference Father, that lawyer Davo. Okay, let's not, let's let's make it shorter. I mean, let's make it shorter because you know, let's make it yeah, shorter. But I think only things. less than less than ten minutes. Yeah, let's make it shorter. That's why you you. I mean, I I'm I'm not okay, trying okay, to interrupt. I'll make, I'll, let, let me complete it. You also may going to do ten minutes, right? Huh? No, no, no. I wouldn't have that time. Okay, okay. Let me it just make it. This is a very important part. Don't don't cut me. Okay, there. <laughs> and your people sorry, have already. Sorry, I'm insulted. just trying to tell the moderator, but uh, sorry. Your people have already started insulting me, as you said. But you know me and insult. They're just like washing with uh, water. You know, when when I came on the radio to say that we need to go on onto elections, your people, Bamamas and the others, were there insulting me because of elections. 
so don't come around here and say okay so as i was saying when when solo sending came out the first day before he was killed what when the press conference lawyer that would give what did he say what did he say you know he said that we are not going anywhere in fact mol mil nata ya five follow from akole ngany for solo in what you made him follow solo in it became serious when solo died and that was when everybody had to get up to do something even dai got up and we all told nga, 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 we everybody did what they could so when you're talking about your people being jailed that is just few years ago we have been being jailed since 1994 and secret meetings you have secret meetings nga jele ko last 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 few days ago we saw uh, a picture of lawyer dabo and uh, and 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 and, and the junta iko 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 di bar association no nataka ka fenke nobody nobody knew about that meeting until few days ago they approached the, uh, this man how do you call it halifa in parliament among some so to, to 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 get to the point now you know point of moment it was it was it is it is it is as you also have agreed now it is it is it is it is uh, it is inevitable that change cannot come now and if people are saying you voted for regime change if you want system change you have to vote for the party that can bring system change in there's nothing wrong with that it's the truth there's nothing wrong with it if at all our our popularity and our 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 our, our intelligence our our composure and our, our our integrity is what is worrying you you better be worried because there's the gambia will never be the same again you know when we have time limits when we bring in a uh, 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 redrawing of, of 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 boundaries you people are going to be history thank you thank you for <laughs> thank you very much uh, mr ture you both have to come to jabi kunda um, yeah um, yeah um, fatu fatu uh, thank you so much i'm going to be very brief uh, 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 let kejo understand that uh, when there is a demarcation of boundaries it is just the names that change not the people and um, you know that he has to understand when you change boundaries you draw new lines it is the geography that you are redrawing but human beings remain who they are if you want change my village to uh, uh, fulabantam from the name kitty put it in uh, uh, central badibu from combo birikama south i will remain ahmad i don't know how that has to do with the change of uh, uh, or shift of support from one political party to another um that, that's purely very irrelevant to a uh, voting block very very irrelevant and um i, I would like to uh, uh, again uh, uh put this to kejo that it's not true that it was um only femi peters apart from femi peters before femi peters was arrested with people but before that we had sajo kunjang sane who was killed uh, actually daba marena was at the time uh, the the nih chief this was before 2006 sajo kunjang sane before that even there is this sanyang uh, you would ask people about the denting bridge uh, uh, you know a uh, uh, encounter between aprc and udp this was back in two, uh, 2001 when mr sanyang was also uh, hit he was taken to uh, the us and he died there it was not only that uh, i mean usen himself one, this was not the first and he was second. arrested one second please mr ture i'll advise you not to um, respond to some of these comments like these people are like this you have to grow a very thick skin when you're a public figure and i think you don't need to respond to, to them don't please please don't reply their messages no no i'm not replying i'm just saying so, um, nancy so, saho you are blocked you know if anybody <coughs> so, you are block you there's no thick skin in that <laughs> <laughs> okay I, I i think that's i think that's important to note uh the the other aspect is um you know, uh, we had Wasajane. I'm sure he doesn't know who Wasajane is. Somebody, did you, don't block me. Wasajane uh, was a very instrumental politician back in Brikama. He was I know Wasajane before you, my brother. 
No, I mean, well, if you know Wasajane, you are doing disservice to him because you knew him and you must have known how much he went through on the Jame. And it was, it was on the UDP that he went through all of that. Karamo Ture actually uh, delayed. I'm talking him about leadership, him. the leaders, man. Leaders, leaders, bro. Well, leaders. Yeah, well, Talking about me. We're talking about the party. We're talking about the party, and it would be very um, nice if you could allow him talk to about finish the tour. Because I would have to speak. I mean, so it's it's these are these are leaders. Wasa was never a known leader. These were all instrumental people. And as far as we are concerned, the participation and the contribution of every member of UDP is paramount. Whether Solo Sane was the one that went out and died, or Ibrahim Asise, or Fatma Dajaura, or Usenu Dabo to us, these are equal when it comes to value for our country. So there is no leader. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that um, for PDOI, it was only Halifa and, and perhaps uh, Samsar that I knew of, of course. Uh, who defended himself at the court and then given amnesty. But what I'm trying to tell you is that does not equal UDP. At least we have 10 people that we can count and say, Yaya Jame killed them because of you, because of their fight in UDP against the Gambia government. That is That does not match anywhere. When you come to the reason why Halifa didn't accept position, which is actually what is important here. Look, it was agreed in the MOU that positions in government will be shared, whether it is at executive level, whether it is at the level of legislature. It was an agreement by the coalition partners that they will have share of positions in all arms of the government. Now, when Halifa decided that positions will not be accepted by him in cabinet, we knew that PDOIS is a party. It's not an individual like Halifa. We have at least 30,000 people in PDOIS. We are not saying Halifa should accept or not accept a position. We are saying PDOIS should be part of the cabinet. Halifa is not PDOIS. We have a lot of people in PDOIS. If Halifa doesn't accept, Sidia is there, Samsa is there, Kejau is there. What's wrong with making Kejau the interior minister on behalf of PDOIS? That's what we are saying. Do not Halifanize this. It is PDOIS as a party. And you know, there are a lot of sides to the storytelling about this whole thing. Halifa students said he wants to go to parliament. Fantastic, because that's where the bulk of the job is. To him, it's more important. Halifa again in a press conference said, these are press conferences, and we all listen to them. He didn't want to be sacked. And when you are in cabinet, a president can sack you. This is again from Halifa. So, which is which? I mean, we don't know which is which. And we believe it's not even about Halifa. At the beginning, we all talk about serving the nation. Halifa made a press conference and said the principles of PDOIS wouldn't allow him to accept a position in cabinet. What were these principles? You cannot be a leader of PDOIS and also be in cabinet. The, Halifa said this. These videos are on everywhere. They, he made a press conference that all of us watch. And that baffled me as a young man who look up to these people that claim to us that they love our country. Two principles clashed. The principle of PDOIS as a party and the principle of serving Gambians in cabinet. Halifa took the, the earlier, that is, go and be the leader of PDOIS and not be a cabinet member. And you know, Fatu, the reality is the most difficult part of the job for this coalition is in cabinet. They are in charge of ministries. You've never had a parliamentarian blamed for anything since, since December. All we hear about is interior ministry, this checkpoints. That is what he talked about here. Checkpoints. Checkpoint, checkpoint. My party. 
And the other thing is, Aisa Tubaji went to New York Foreign Affairs. The other thing, President's Office, Head of Civil Service. These are things that we're hearing from Kejab. Nobody talks about law. So Halifa understood that we had a problem in cabinet. We had problem in our institutions. And we can only walk these things out if we took cabinet positions. Again, not Halifa, but PDOIS. There is no excuse whatsoever. PDOIS has five, four, five people in cabinet right now, out of 30,000. They cannot give us one to be part of cabinet, to be part of executives. That is not fair to the people. They are moving away from responsibility. That's what we have seen. And he talked about Halifa coming out and saving the nation when there were problems and Hussein was in hiding. As far as I knew, Hussein was in his compound. Yaya Jame knew where Hussein is. He has never moved an inch. He was always in his compound. Baro went to Senegal because ECOWAS, again, is a security. And I'm disappointed that he's mentioning something like that. There's a problem. There's going to be war. In military, you go to war, there are captains and generals and, and, and lieutenants who are actually the field commanders, lieutenants. You don't, you don't, the, the, the VIP, the center of gravity in military is always protected. What will be the essence of war if you will allow a president not protected? Of course, at the time, Baro was more important than Halifa in terms of ranking in the country. Echo has said, Baro, security-wise, is not okay. You have to leave because we are going to war. And that happens anywhere. A leader is always protected. When you go to U.S., you have more security for Obama or Trump than any other person. And this is not the making of Adama Baro. It was not the making of the Gambia government. It was ECOWAS, who were at the time in control of the country, that told Adama, we are coming for you. It was the Nigerian military plane, Air Force One, that picked Adama. Buhari was there. You know, Elaine Johnson Salif was there. How dare Adama refuse that? Things were in control by ECOWAS beyond us. And they took, you know, this guy to Senegal. And then my father was his personal assistant. He requested my to be with him in Senegal. That's normal. But Fatumata Tambaja was in her house in the country. Yaya Jamme knew he had the powers to fish out anybody at the time at any part of the Gambia. You knew that, Keja. You knew that very well. Gambia was small enough. So Halifa was the spokesperson. This was agreed before the problem came that Halifa would be the one to speak on behalf of the coalition. That was before the problem came. Now, how would it look like when Halifa sits inside and Hussein Udabo comes out to speak? Hussein was not part of the coalition when it was happening. He was in jail. That was going to be the worst. You were all going to clap again. He came and took over and blah, blah, something. Hussein had to sit in his home. My party, Fadumada Tambajang, Aisha Tuture, were not spokespersons for the coalition. It was the role of Halifa that demanded that he goes out to the press and clarify the position that that government took, the interim government. And anything he said to people, be honest to tell people that that came from an agreed outcome of the coalition members. They sit first, have a meeting. After the meeting, what they agreed, they tell Halifa. And this is what Halifa has always been saying. President Barrow said, the coalition said, the interim, the new government said, President-elect said, this is what he has always been saying. But time if he was in hiding like others, we would have a replacement if he had said he wouldn't have been able to. So stop telling people when people were out, Barrow, this and that, you know, stop telling that to people. When you tell people, people think you are a fool. That's what we look at you as. You, are, you, you should know that better than that how a system works. A military spokesman, if you are a PRO and you are a military spokesman, 
You go out and talk to the press. Does it mean you are the most intelligent? No, it didn't mean you are the most intelligent person in the military. But that is your responsibility. Gita, don't bring it. Keep it simple. Okay, 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 guys. Um, it looks like uh, we are. We are running out of time. It is almost um, two hours, and um, I love us to um, go to the last question, you know, and then we'll maybe have a part two if you guys are ready. That is after my vacation because I'll be away for um, at least two weeks. Um, uh, Mr. Toure, um, are you here? Yeah, yeah, I am here. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, any advice to the diaspora community about tolerance and constructive um, political participation? Um, yeah, yeah, thank you. I think that is very important. Um, we have to realize that we all own the country. Um, just just a little bit to, to, to my brother, um, Ahmed Gite. I mean, I brought in about um, Halifa's, um, uh, 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 he, he, what he did during the uh, impasse, because you were trying to tell people that, you know, um, we were all out. So I was just trying to remind you that. And then um, uh, I think I probably forgot to mention that um, the reason why Halifa didn't take the position um, offered to him, I would believe, um, is that... Uh, that's my personal opinion, though, but I think it's probably because lawyer Dabo came out and then he refused to sign the memorandum of, un uh, of understanding. As Gita said, the memorandum of understanding, if you read it, I will post it to you, this thing afterwards. If, if it says that one, part, the, 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 you know, the, the, the positions will be distributed among the, uh, um, um, the, the coalition. One. Two. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two. That. The passing, if, if people are appointed as ministers, there is going to be uh, a, a, a body that is going to be responsible for, uh, um, if, if, uh, for saying that the passing should go if there is a need for the passing to be sacked. And I think that's what Halifa was talking about when he, was, when he jokingly said that, uh, you know, um, I don't want to be sacked. Because in the memorandum, if you read the memorandum, I don't know whether you read it or not, if you read it, it says that the, if, 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 if the minister needs to be sacked, it has to be by a committee. That committee is there. So that's what he was referring to. Um, so lawyer Dabo came out and he refused to, for, for, for the UDP to sign the memorandum. He himself came to Fatu Radio and said it here. For he was the one who refused to sign the, the memorandum. It was all there when they agreed. It was... It is, if you look at that memorandum, that is the, that is the blueprint for system change. All these, um, um, these, uh, uh, vice presidential appointments and all those people, things will not have arisen. Because you have, these people have worked hard during, during the, um, the campaign. They have drafted these things. Lawyer Dabo, they, they rescued Lawyer Dabo from prison. He came out. His first task was to 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 destroy that memorandum of understanding to tell to tell uh, Barrow that he is the president and nobody to tell him what to do from there who what do you think Khalifa will do if at all I am in Khalifa's shoe I will not never go into that that cabinet because when afterwards they started they gave UDP three positions three cabinet positions and the rest of the people, they gave them two, one position, parties. So where is the equality? Okay, just to answer that. My advice to the diasporan people, especially those of us who started this, uh, uh, who, who were in this struggle from day, from day one or day 10 or day one, you know, the import, it's very, very important that we cult cultivate tolerance and respect for each other in our community, in our discussions. Um, there is, there, we, we have seen a very dangerous trend after the press release came out. UDP people, folks that I know, started talking about the opposition, Khalifa and, and Kande being the enemy of the state. I think that is a very, very serious thing. It's very profound that, that you sit in your home and people rescued you when you were quite Nobody had you people until these last few years. And now you are saying somebody who had sacrificed all his life 
for the Gambia that he's an enemy of the state just because he is an opposition. I think we have to understand that we need opposition in the country, a very strong opposition. And and if you people do, if you if you if you if you have what you want, there will never be any opposition in the country. What's the difference between UDP and APRC then? Because APRC doesn't want opposition. If UDP does not want opposition, then there is no difference between you two. You fight like them, like the Green Boys. You insult like the Green Boys. If there is no, if you don't want opposition, what's the difference between you and them? Maybe your leadership is different. Because we know Usainu Dabo will never be like uh, 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 yeah, Jamme. So that is out. That is the only thing. So we know that there will be no killing, no exiling, nothing. But everything else is the same. That is called regime change and not system change. So my advice to you people, especially the UDF folks, people like you, Jite, you have to take a stand. Tell your people that we need opposition in the country. That a country without opposition is better than is 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 not better than a country with a dictatorship. We need a vibrant uh, uh, opposition. You cannot condemn the opposition. You cannot have the police calling the opposition every time they go out for a, for 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 a rally, asking them questions. What did you say? And the next minute, the excuse they give is, "Oh, UDP said uh, yeah, we were trying to prevent you from UDP because they are going to attack your 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 um your how do you call it your meeting." I think that is an excuse. And we've been trying to give excuse to UDP for uh, forever. It is time now we 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 look in the 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 um the, um, the issue in the eye and, and and tell them the truth that opposition is very necessary in the country, much like laws and 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 and, and regulations. You cannot have an opposition uh, uh, um, that, that 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 you people think an opposition are uh, 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 enemies of the country. Right. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Ture. Balamsa, stop sending me messages. Balamsa is, is something else. Uh, Mr. Gite, um, <laughs> any advice to the diaspora community um, um, about the tol about tolerance and constructive um, political participation? Well, I, I I do not. I am not, you know, uh, big enough to advise, but I can suggest. You see. Um, Diaspora is not UDP, and UDP is not diaspora. I would have suggested that Keja address diaspora, because when you go to Facebook right now, you see insults, attacks. People call Usainu Dabo pedophile. Some of them are PDOIS, some of them are GDC, some of them are APRC. We have seen people that went around and said Usainu is a tribalist. We've seen people that went and say UDP is a tribalist party. We've gone, we've seen all of these things happening. You don't just go and attack a party. You know, if we want tolerance, we should be better than what Kejau is doing. This is not tolerance. You don't expect Kejau to say this and you expect UDP people to accept what he says. Can we be tolerant? Yes, we need to be tolerant. Do we need a vibrant opposition? Yes, we do. When you look at UDP's uh, uh, manifesto, when you look at UDP's policies, you see very clearly the need for a strong opposition, responsible opposition. UDP is not against any party. UDP has never been against any party. It has always been against the misuse of state resources, the misuse of the available resources by the former regime to destroy the country. That is what UDP has always been fighting. And the problem or the misunderstanding between UDP and these other parties has always been disagreement based on leadership. Because we believe in democracy, majority matters. And this is what has been happening. Whenever you want people to come together, it is always majority that leads. I don't think we can disagree on that. But parties in the Gambia always refused that. 
and that is what has always happened in Senegal, Nigeria, everywhere, UK, right now in UK. That is not okay. So I believe we need to, of course, be tolerant and stop insulting each other. And we need to also tell other party militants to understand that Usenu Dabo, lawyer Usenu Dabo, is a prominent Gambian and he had worked for that country for a very long time. And we need to respect him. And the respect assignment begins with Kejau. He has mentioned Usenu Dabo's name several times, and a lot of times what he mentioned about him are unfounded. They are not even true. They are just not true. But he had always been Usenu, Usenu, lawyer Dabo, and all of that. He refused to sign the memorandum. Why wasn't the memorandum signed before even Yaya Jame was defeated? This was an agreement that we went into before even election. Why did it have to take until the time Usenu was there? Yes, I am on. Uh, did you close the lab? The lab for okay. I'm I'm coming down. Thank you. You see, my my professor is asking me if I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay. My professor is asking. So, I mean, you know, memorandum. UDP had leaders before Usenu came out of prison. Ajiam Seka was in charge. Dembo by force was there. These were the people in charge. Adam Abaro and others. Why didn't the coalition government sign the agreement until Usenu comes? And what he said and what Usenu said on Fadu Radio are two different. Usenu said he has not seen any memorandum signed. So the agreement was not signed. And the point Usenu was trying to argue was five years as opposed to three years. And the agreement that people are talking about, they agreed. There was no document signed. That was what Usenu said. As far as I'm concerned, I've not seen any signed document. Usenu didn't see, I refuse to sign. That's not true. Let us listen. Let us be realistic. Let us be honest with our statements. We all listen to that. And you can go to Fatu Radio and request that for everything. In fact, it's on SoundCloud. Fatu, you can go and look for that on SoundCloud and play it. Usenu said, as far as I'm concerned, I've not seen any document signed by these coalition parties as an agreement, as an agreed memorandum of understanding. That was what he said. He didn't say, I refuse to sign. Let us not try to tarnish people's image. Let us not try to assassinate people's characters because we don't That's like what them. It meant. That I is the reality. It. That's what I it meant. I am going down. <laughs> I am done. It is wonderful having an, uh, 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 this thing, uh, conversation with uh, Honorable Keja Oture. And hopefully Gambia will be fine. Yes, personally, me, I have stopped insulting people on Facebook because I felt it's not important. That's why I don't respond to people. When you insult me, that's fine. I think we should be tolerant, and I am beginning to do that. We were all angry at some point. But as we grow up, I feel we need to be tolerant. We're all Gambians, and politics should not divide us. And I love people in me. PDOIS, Halifa did well, Sidiya did very well for the country. So are the leaders of others. Ahmad Ba, you know, Isa Duture, you know, Usenu Dabo, you know, I mean, and I love all of them. And I would like to thank you very much for inviting me. I have to go though, because they are closing the, uh, the lab. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Jite, for 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 accepting the invitation, Mr. Mr. Um, Ture. I am super proud of you both. This is what we need in the new Gambia: only positivity. And I am, um, uh, you know, um, I have so much love for for, for you both, uh, Mr. Ture. Thank you very much once again for accepting the invitation. And do you have any final final words before we go? <laughs> You're on mute. Very grateful to you, Fatu, for for this opportunity, and uh, it's a, it's a great effort. Um, you know, you are doing great jobs. Um, um, I think what you are doing is the system change that mm -hmm. um, that 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 we need. We need people, everybody, every Gambian, to contribute their quota to our development in whatever way you can. So yeah. you're doing your part. So we are we are saying thank you very much uh, on behalf of Gambians to you, and thanks for this opportunity. And um, you know, keep keep it up. Thank you.
and thanks to you for um the 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 lovely um um how do i how do i put this um because you've been one of um my role models um that have been in the struggle for the longest time and i really appreciate that i am very sad that all those that are co commenting regardless of your political differences appreciate all they appreciate all the efforts that you've been doing for for, for the uh, for the country so um thank you very much and to everyone that is listening don't forget to like and follow us on re-enter the gambia because we have um, more important and interesting you know topics to discuss with you guys and see you guys in two weeks because i'm going to be away so um the know your um, candidates and their agendas will continue after two weeks thank you so much and that was all we have for you guys thank you so much mr mr Turi. thank you